when Patrick LeBlanc began his new job as general manager of the Rotary Centre for the Arts in September of 2012, he didn't think he would be getting down and dirty. But today he did just that, taking us on a tour of the centre. And the first stop, the Potter's Attic Ceramic Art Centre. What I'd like you to do is wet both of your hands, get them nice and wet, good. Mm -hmm. And then put your hands around the plate with your thumbs up in the air and you're going to squeeze here to here. To be able to get your hands dirty and to be able to create art on any level, I just encourage everyone to do it. I told you you were going to get down and dirty. Absolutely, that's what I was looking forward to. Guided by Potter's addict, owner and artist, Bonnie Anderson, Patrick squeezed, shaped, compressed and sponged his clay in the hopes of creating a piece of art. From this you decide whether you're going to make a bowl or a vase or a round shape. Let's go with the vase. Okay, so what you're going to do is... Is that ambitious? No. <laughs> While it's not all that ambitious, Patrick has reached some lofty goals in his life. He worked for the Vancouver Opera where he ran the National Training Program. But after living in Vancouver for 20 years, he wanted a change. So he moved to Cranbrook where he was hired to run a regional arts facility, which included a theatre and gallery and serviced an area of 50,000. But while he enjoyed the last two years there, he felt his big city sensibility kicking in. And that's when the opportunity to settle in Kelowna came about. Great location, love Kelowna, love the centre, why wouldn't I go for it? So I came and luckily they chose me and now I'm loving every minute of it. For Patrick, the uniqueness of the Rotary Centre lies in its variety of arts and programs. We have the Potter Studio, we have Painter's Studios, we have a Jewelry Studio, we have Sculptor's Studios, we have Weaver's Studios, we have a Bistro. And you can hang out and you can visit the artists and there are galleries on every floor. And so you can come, you can see a show, you can eat at the bistro, you can enjoy a gallery. When you come here, it's, it's the full experience. I've never seen another facility that gives you absolutely everything the same way that the Rotary Center for the Arts does. And while the RCA has attracted many visitors over the years, Patrick still sees the potential in the facility. Every room in this building can be rented, can be catered. We have painting studios where you can do retreats, take classes. Just really encourage everyone to come on out and check it out because everything you want is here. And to kick off the 10 year anniversary, the centre is holding an anniversary campaign. You can buy a seat in the Mary Irwin Theatre. You can make donations to help supply our art closet. Meanwhile, back at the pottery studio, Patrick finished his first piece of pottery with much delight. So then we'll raccoon fire that and uh, probably have that for Christmas. Awesome. For more information on the Rotary Centre for the Arts, visit rotarycentreforthearts.com. For Go Okanagan, I'm Marianne Ockel.